the moment I heard the word Vipassana, I was like, okay, I have to try this. Like, I have to go do this. I don't really know what it is. But when I stepped in there and started seeing, you know, the difficulty of doing a silent 10-day course and then coming out the other end successful, though it was a sort of grueling process, especially, especially the first one, when I came out, you know, I didn't necessarily know what I let go of, but when I started, you know, going back to interpersonal situations and talking to people and different difficulties arose, I started noticing that the same behavior patterns didn't arise. And to me, that was the big shocker. It was like, literally, I could, you know, I wouldn't expect these moments of anxiety to come up to the point where, you know, I just would not want to do anything. And then I started realizing that as I kept meditating, it kept decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. And to me, that was a humongous victory. You know, I didn't really know what was happening, but I knew that it was working. <clears throat> and I knew that I needed to keep going back to learn more, to deepen my awareness so that I could actually watch these, you know, observe these different mechanics in the mind and how, you know, how much you can actually cultivate it, how much um, you can actually grow and develop within yourself in a way that's different from, you know, reading and writing, watching TV, living and talking to people, actually literally cultivating your awareness, cultivating your equanimity, your compassion, these different facets that are a part of the mind that are just like any other muscle that they need, they require some cultivation. How do I actually let go of these heavy traumas, of these heavy patterns that I know do not serve my happiness? And that's sort of leading a lot of people to meditation because it's not something, you know, I, I'm open with people, I tell them I meditate, but my audience by and large, they're not meditators. They're people who are trying to think a different way. So it's interesting, but when people ask, you know, how do you let go? I tell them honestly, well, there are a lot of patterns in your subconscious that are literally affecting your daily behavior and to be able to sort of get through that conscious level to really sort of break that barrier between the conscious and the subconscious, it requires a lot of stillness, a lot of calmness, um, a lot of concentration and to be able to do that you need some sort of tool you need some sort of technique so if you want to really change your life you can do so through effort and consistency and i meditate daily i meditate two hours a day one hour in the morning one hour in the evening and um, it's totally changed my life it's